Okay, good morning and uh, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm back here at 4 Golf Chester. I can see a sign in the background, Callaway. It is Callaway Big Bertha Irons and Hybrids that I'm going to be testing out very, very soon in this bay. For me, the minute you mention the word Big Bertha and Callaway, I'm expecting, I'm expecting in innovation. I'm expecting over the years, Big Bertha and Callaway have brought out some of the most technologically advanced clubs. They've always broke barriers as far as I'm concerned over the years. And again, they're introducing new technology into this 2019 set of hybrid and irons. The question is, how good is that technology? How much more advanced is it? How much difference is it gonna make for me to be able to put club head on ball and produce some decent performance? We're gonna find out both in here at 4 Golf Chester and out there on the course as well. But for now, I'll move camera. We'll start hitting some golf balls and let's collect some data from both of those clubs inside here at 4 Golf Chester. So what's going to make the difference this year in the Big Bertha 2019 set of irons? Then the new technology is called Suspended Energy Core. What is that? Well basically it's a piece of tungsten weighting that is uh, wrapped in another piece of material which is urethane in this instance. It's positioned exactly where they want it to be in terms of a low CG placement to help us launch that ball just that little bit easier. The combination of the urethane and the tungsten weighting is uh, again supposed to increase sound and feel and be between the two of them produce some consistency, consistent numbers across that club face. We've got 360 cup face technology, which again is that uh, what we've seen in the last uh, couple of years really from um, Callaway and their irons. And again, it produces high ball speeds right across the club face. And again, what we're looking to see is that's the blurb from Callaway. The only thing that I'm really interested in is how it performs in the hands of the average golfer. So that's all we're gonna talk about. We're gonna get that camera moved out there and we're gonna start it in some golf balls and see how the 2019 set of Big Bertha irons performs in the hands of the average golfer. Okay, right, two things to mention that uh, is very, very notable with this golf club before we get into actually hitting golf balls, and I will do very soon, I promise you. The profile, the sheer bulk and size of this Big Bertha, or the lack of size and bulk of this Big Bertha 2019 iron, is one of the most impressive things I've seen so far. Match it up now, have a look at this against the Rogue that was produced earlier this year from Callaway. Again, they're classing this Callaway as a super game improvement iron. It would fall into the same category as the Rogue. And the kind of things that you see on the Rogue is that very, very thick top line, plenty of mass behind the club head at address. And that's what I've expected from the Big Bertha, and it doesn't do that. They've managed to keep this in a very small and compact profile. The top line is relatively thin for my liking, as is the bulk and mass behind the ball itself. So one massive tick, if this is a super game improvement iron, as Callaway are calling it, then they've managed to do it in a very small head profile. The other thing is this grip, Lampkin Genesis Z5 grip. Never used it before, but I really like that as well. So that's a tick as well in the box. But we will now hit some golf balls, as I promised. And I'll give you some feedback straight from, uh, straight from what I experience. And that's a great start. So this eight iron, because I've just seen in terms of what that's, uh, the, the ball flight itself there, it's fired up there into the clouds. Not a weak flight, nice penetrating flight, but it has gone up there. 34 degrees worth of loft on this eight iron is what I'm testing. That's where the dry ball data is gonna come from. It's gonna be an eight iron. I've got six, eight, and I've got four iron, but this is what we're gonna get the dry ball data from. Good parallel, really, because if you look through other reviews, this is lofted at 34 degrees, and that's similar to a lot of my, well, certainly traditionally lofted irons that we've tested. It's not mega strong. I think the, the seven iron is 30 degrees loft, so if you have a look back through the Super Game Improvement irons, it's certainly not super strong in terms, it's no power spec as such. But I'm expecting, the interesting thing is, 34 degrees worth of loft, and I've hit balls out on my own golf course, the launch is a lot higher than what it does on a traditional seven iron at 34 degrees worth of loft. So obviously differences in where the CG is placed and the differences in, uh, in the ability to launch. That was a bit heavy hand, a bit matty. Bit matty, but again, nice to see. Ball's still gone out there. Slightly down the left, but it's gone off the club face. We, we're expecting, or I'm expecting, plenty of help from this type of club for those type of shots. That's a ball. First ball, third ball, pretty much identical in terms of their uh, characteristics in ball flight and to where they've um, sort of pitched and landed. 
See if we can get one more and then I'll start to give you some feedback on my thoughts. Again, maybe a tad matty, but it's going out there. Similar ball flight again. Slightly across that one, a left to right ball flight. The interesting thing for me is this. Let's take a quick look at what I did out there on the course yesterday at this point. So I took, um, like I said, there's some four irons in here. You'll see some eight irons and you'll see some six irons across the golf course in different situations. Eight iron for me, 34 degrees worth of loft. One sort of 55 is what I'm expecting to get out of this in line with similar towards my, my current seven iron. And it did that in terms of yardage. I didn't find it overly long out there on the course. Um, but what I did find the most astonishing bit was the two things. One that I've already mentioned, which is the size and compactness of these irons. Uh, the second thing was the sound and feel. One thing they've managed to do extremely well is it's got some great sound and some great feel. Maybe they're both exactly the same thing when it comes to hitting an iron. But that's what they've achieved very, very well indeed. And it's the most impressive thing that I've seen in the leap forward from um, some of the earlier, even the, the rogue, like I referred to. For me, you expect certain things. There's almost a clicky sound expected from these super game improvement irons. It doesn't give you that. It's a nice, soft feel. The interesting thing as well, if you just have a look at some of the shots I've played in and around some half shots, you're often uh, criticised the super game improvement irons for their lack of feel, um, inability to hit, inability to shape a shot, hit half a shot. Um, sorry, but I, I don't really agree with that, and I certainly don't agree with it here. Um, ability, like I said, I only had the eight iron, so some of these shots that I, you see have been played have been from uh, sort of 80, 90 yards, um, all the way up to sort of 150 yards with the same iron, and some little chip shots short of the green as well, some bump and runs, and again, it gave me more than adequate enough feel back into the hands to be able to uh, produce that kind of shot and be comfortable with it as well. Well, a decent ball there just to finish off the strikes on camera. I'm going to carry on hitting some golf balls to record some data with this eight iron of which we'll go through and then I'll give you my overall assessment of this uh, Big Bertha 2019 set of irons. Okay, so it's time to make an evaluation of the Big Bertha irons and like I said I feel uh, it's, it's great to get the clubs out there on the course it's a real added bonus to me because we all know this is a, uh, a sterile environment it's it's not real when you're hitting out into that driving range it's not the same as the pressure of having to find a fairway or find a green so having taken them out there yesterday it was a great insight to see how these perform the one thing I would say the one word I would associate with the clubs is confidence uh, confidence inspiring that's two words um, just because, I mean, after hitting a few balls in, I just, uh, I, I was confident that it was a, we always talk about sweet spots, forgiveness, MOI. These clubs are user friendly, you're the golfer friendly, you know, they make, they make life just that little bit easier. So when I addressed the ball, I found plenty of confidence. I didn't feel as though I had to go and start uh, really putting a full swing into these things, nice and easy, keep it smooth. And I struck the ball fairly decent, to be fair, out there on the course. Um, yardage, I didn't find them overly long out there on the course. I mean, I found them um, probably a club stronger than my set that I currently use, and that's probably just down to, like I said, they're a club stronger in loft than what I use. Um, launched high, but just the ease of use is the big thing. Um, it was 8 iron, 6 iron, 4 iron, a number of positions, as I said, and found it very, very easy to hit, and a big sweet spot, I think. Evaluation is massive tick in the box of achieving this in a small profile i think that's the big thing for me the massive achievement is that they've really thinned this down um like i said earlier about the comparison to the rogue comparing that to the rogue iron and comparing it to 
traditional what we know as super game improvement irons they've really got this profile nice and small and i'd be interested to see how many of these uh, manufacturers are following suit in 2019 trying to do exactly the same because i think that's the way forward with these type of clubs and they certainly make them more appealing and asking massive questions of me right now i've held off changing irons for the best part of 14 months and uh, still that dilemma for me is changing from a small profile what i like to hit what i like on the eye into a club that may help me perform a little bit better a bit more consistently such as super game improvement irons but i never do that because i don't like the move into the bulkier clubs this is where things are starting to change i think and you might just get the option to do that in a much smaller profile such as the big bertha irons so a real interesting one a real interesting one for the first major release of 2019 the big bertha irons massive thumbs up hard to be critical but as ever comments down below from you is what i'm really interested in and uh, give us some feedback see what you think what do you think of these big bertha irons 2019 will you give them a will you be giving them a go i've not mentioned price it's a big one as you well know and uh, no doubt you'll all be all over that and uh, will that be a major put off as well so comments down below as ever thank you for watching and uh, i will see you soon